Hi, my name is Katerina and I am learning how to tattoo and this is a beginner's video on how to tattoo yourself at home. This is my second time doing it because I forgot to record it the first time. So this is how I do my stencils. I use uh, paper towels, baby powder, hand sanitizer and I also use a car wash sponge. So the stencil that I chose uh, is the signature from Duchamp's Rose C'est la Vie. I separated the stencil because it's going to be easier to apply. Shaved my leg and cleaned it with hand sanitizer. I applied some baby powder. And this is a wonderful method that I got from Ben Fisher. You should follow his channel if you're a beginner. And then again the hand sanitizer. You will then apply your stencil. and use the car wash sponge to press it evenly on the leg. As you can see, the R is not completely perfect, but it will do. You then apply more hand sanitizer for the second part because it dries quite quickly. And the stencil. And look at it, the second part of the stencil especially, it's really great. Don't forget to compare the stencil with the original design before you start tattooing. This is kind of unrelated, but I want to take the opportunity to recommend this book called Food of the Gods by Terence McKenna. It's a radical history of plant psychedelics and human evolution, and I think everyone should read this book. As you noticed, I am cleaning my desk, making sure there is nothing on it and that it's neat and disinfected. Um, I am also walking around with half of my pants up because my stencil was drying and you really want to make sure that you give enough time for the stencil to dry uh, so it doesn't smudge while you are tattooing. The next step was to wash my hands, apply hand sanitizer, and put on my latex gloves. Then I layered film on the table and I brought all the materials that I need for tattooing. Make sure to tape your film to the table uh, so it doesn't slip. Full disclosure, I am not being sponsored by any brands on this video. I just wanted to share that these are the paper cups that I've been using. They're from Killer Ink. I then took some Vaseline from that huge pot with uh, my wooden spatula and put it on the film. And I filled my paper cup with some ink. I am using dynamic uh, tattoo ink. This is my machine. It's a CNC XV wireless uh, tattoo pen. I find it really comfortable and I have been enjoying learning how to tattoo with it. I put the plastic sleeve on my machine and now I'm going to show you how to do a grip. You fold a paper towel in four and you wrap it around your machine. You then use some grip tape and you're also going to wrap it around the machine where the paper towel is. And that's it. This is my table, ink, Vaseline, cartridge, machine, soapy water, paper towels, and that's it. Before putting on the cartridge on the machine and before tattooing, I went with the machine over the tattoo to see how I was going to do the tattoo. I trained this tattoo before on practice mats, but uh, I must say that it went really different from my practice. This is the machine with the cartridge on. I applied some Vaseline, but not too much, just a thin layer. You want to make sure to have a paper towel with you so that the ink doesn't smudge everywhere and also to catch any extra ink that might come with your cartridge. I was a little bit nervous, but as you can see, I was uh, using quite a low voltage. So I won't be really 
talking about my mistakes right now because I was quite surprised by tattooing with such small strokes while in my practice on the fake skin I did all these long and lean lines and everything and I think my nerves got the best of me to be honest and if you think about it your brain is uh, constantly telling you why are you putting a needle on your skin or at least this is how my brain goes about it um, so I think it's something that I will have to get over and I feel like it's gonna be very different uh, when I get to tattoo someone else uh, other than myself. Or at least I hope so. If you do live around the region of Grenoble in France, uh, please let me know if you would like to volunteer for a free tattoo and uh, we can discuss it further. First part finished, cleaned it up. Yeah, I'm noticing my mistake there. More Vaseline. And let's do the second part. I am now going to share with you guys the original sound in the background. Oh shit. I am really sorry but you won't be able to see the very end of the tattoo because my machine decided to stop recording. So apologies on that. After finishing I cleaned a little bit the tattoo and I went over again with the machine at a lower voltage uh, on some of the lines that were a little bit too thin. And then I cleaned my tattoo. Please do buy uh, tattoo soap because I made my own DIY soapy water and it was really difficult for me to clean my tattoo. I ended up using a lot of Vaseline and you don't want that because you're going to rub a lot over your tattoo and that's not ideal. But you want to make sure that you apply Vaseline and that you wrap your tattoo with film. This is the reward afterwards, eating ice cream on the couch with my boyfriend. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are a fellow beginner, please leave a comment below uh, telling me how it was for you to tattoo yourself for the first time or even second time. The reason why I made this channel was to record my own journey and share it with others. So if you are interested, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and I wish you a very happy day and I'll see you soon.